Dear Journal, Last night I dreamt I was living in a mansion I owned. The ceilings were high and the rooms were cold. There was a cold darkness in some of the corners that made me feel very uneasy, even after waking. There was a sense of familiarity in the guests I invited, but also something quite peculiar and foreign about it all. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a self-care routine. Something that I wanted to implement for the new year is taking time out every month to take care of myself. It was really important this year for me to just redefine what self-care actually means to me. I've realized that self-care is all of these small things that we tend to neglect because they don't seem as important as the bigger things in our lives. Self-care comes in so many different forms and it's just really about slowing down and taking time to appreciate yourself. So whatever that looks like to you, then you should just embrace it. So starting off with hair care, I'm using Olaplex and I'm using number zero first and then I go in with the number three treatment. I really do love their products. So while that product sits in my hair, I'm just going to take a shower. I love Dove. You guys know this if you've watched any of my videos. I love the way it makes my body feel, it smells and it really does give me like a good clean without drying my skin out. People, wash between your damn toes. I can't believe that there's people out there who don't wash between their toes. I scrub my feet with my exfoliating gloves. This is one of those areas that can easily be neglected. So if you have time, do a foot mask or get a pedicure. So this is a foam and body wash. I've had this on my shelf for a while, actually. Um, it kind of doubles as a shaving cream. So that's what I'm using it for today. Again, I really love Dove. <laughs> I will try anything that they come out with, but... I found this new shaving technique which is what I'm doing now where you shave your leg and then you push the shaver back down your leg so it pushes the hair out and it just makes shaving so much more quick. I'm also using this hair mask from Olaplex. It does leave my hair feeling really, really like strong when I'm finished and nice and soft. It's really easy to detangle my hair as well. So that's what I'm using instead of conditioner today. So the final step for me is a body scrub and I love this body scrub. I will not stop raving about it. It smells so, so good. All of Soap and Glory's body scrubs smell so good, but this one is my favorite. Run and get this. So for body care, I'm using my Johnson's Bedtime Lotion. I usually use this or the regular pink one. So I'm going to put you guys onto this classic body lotion and I don't hear a lot of people talking about it and it's a well-known classic while well, I've been using it for years. This keeps your skin moisturized all day. You don't look ashy. If I'm going out and I know I do not want to be ashy, I want to say like moisturize. This is what I put on. And there's so many like body butters, body creams out there that does similar, but this is for the fraction of the price and it smells amazing. It smells like raw cocoa butter. Really, really like edible and feminine. Look how shiny my legs look already. Oh. 
so for my chest area I do tend to get like sensitivity there and get acne so I like to use my face moisturizer which is the CeraVe moisturizing cream or lotion on my chest I've already cleansed my face with my CeraVe cream to foam cleanser My skincare routine is pretty simple. I don't really do too much and at the moment I have like a really bad allergy going on. It started yesterday. I don't know what it is. I think it's something that I ate because it's around my mouth. So I'm going to be really careful with what I put on my skin today because I don't want to irritate it anymore. Usually when I do my skincare routine, I always do it on like wet skin. So I'm just gonna re-wet my skin. So I usually like to start off with a serum. Usually a serum that would help treat something, but because my skin is quite sensitive right now, I'm just gonna use hyaluronic acid and this is from The Ordinary. So I let my skin kind of dry down a little bit, but not completely dry because when you're using hyaluronic acid you still want it to be a little bit moist so i'm going to go in with my cerave moisturizer and this is just like my favorite skincare product it's so so good for like all skin types i did change over to the moisturizing cream i was using the moisturizing lotion before um but my skin started to get really dry because it was winter time so this has been a really really good um, switch so after i put down my face cream i usually go in with like a oil or something just to like seal it or lock it in but because my skin has um, been a bit sensitive i want to this might be a very big risk that i'm taking because of the allergy but i really want to use the dr jart's sick of hair um, sleep mask this is supposed to be good for really sensitive skin and that's basically why I'm using it. It's supposed to be the last step in your skincare routine. So I'm going to use this and I'm actually going to put one thing after it. And then now I'm going to go in with the Ordinary Rose Hip Cold Press Oil. And that's basically it for my skincare routine. It's just really simple. All you want to do is gas me. How we end up in the backseat. Just trying to get to the bag. Good morning guys, this is probably one of the very rare occasions you'll ever see me with makeup. I feel like I haven't worn makeup in literally months. I think the only two times I've worn makeup in the last couple of months is when I went out and then apart from that I've not worn makeup ever since. So yeah, I just wanted to, you know, like feel nice today. Oh shit, I forgot I lost one of my earrings, I need to replace it. And maybe I'll change these out. Let me change these quickly. I feel like I never wear hoops, but I feel a little bit extra today, so hoops it is. So as some of you guys may or may not know from my previous video, one of my goals for this year was to stay on top of my physical health and incorporating supplements and vitamins or anything that can help my physical health and my performance, especially because I do gym quite um, intense. So I need to make sure that I'm replenishing my body. I like to use tea as an alternative to like coffee or like pre-workout, especially that first tea. That one's probably 
was my favorite and I got both of these from Holland and Barrett's recently and I can say that they do kind of give me like a booster energy. I also recently started to take this multivitamin and I also really like this because they're in a sweet form so I'm more like inclined to take it in the morning opposed to like a pill form especially because I do now take quite a few like supplements and another pill would have just been too much. Some other supplements that I do take in pill form is collagen peptides. I take this for like joints and muscle recovery but also for like skin, hair, nails um, and I take it in the peptide form because our body can't like break down the amount of collagen that we um, consume and then for my gut health I do take pre and probiotics and I take a colon cleanse I have um, been using fenugreek as well for a while but I'm not sure if that's something I'm going to carry on using um, it is good to increase like testosterone levels um, lower blood sugar if you are pre um, diabetic or if you are diabetic it helps regulate it as with anything that you take please please go off and do your own research and if you're not sure consult a doctor thank you guys so much for watching i hope you will enjoy it and it inspired you to take time out for yourselves love you guys so much and i'll see you in another video so let me know what it's gonna be i don't plan on getting no sleep why are we doing nothing moving too fast candy paint with the windows on